video series on Windows XP. This is being brought to you by LearningComputer.com. Today I really wanted to talk about Control Panel. Uh, control Panel is a really important part of your operating system. Uh, this is where, can, where you can uh, change a lot of the configuration settings as it relates to uh, Windows XP. You can also add and remove programs, uh, change printer settings, uh, set up user accounts and security and performance and ma maintenance of your machine. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. I uh, figured it's a better idea just to uh, show you a lot of these things instead of um, making a PowerPoint or uh, writing about it. Um, so the first thing you need to do go is to click on start and you'll notice control panel is one of the options. Uh, a little definition it says, uh, let me just read this real quick, it says pro provides options for you to customize the appearance and functionality of your computer, add or remove programs. So I will go ahead and launch this. Uh, we'll notice in Windows XP the layout looks a little bit different. It's uh, broken down by category. In the earlier v versions of Windows this was uh, a little different so in fact it gives you an option on the left uh, pane over here to switch to classic view. If I click on that, uh, this is what it used to look like and I'm going to go ahead and switch back to category view. We will uh, essentially try to hit the main points. I, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because uh, we have uh, other things that we need to cover. So first thing is the appearances and themes. Uh, it says it can you can change the appearance of desktop items, apply a theme or screensaver to your computer and customize the start menu. So if you click on that, you'll notice that it's uh, the right pane is broken down into uh, two areas. You have a task list. Th those are the, some of the common tasks you can do. Or you can pick a control panel icon. Uh, so let's say if you wanted to change the um, desktop background, you can click on that task and it will take you to the uh, appropriate area. Now if you were aware of where to find this you can go ahead and click on this display which is uh, where the background is so let me just do that again so if you were to click on desktop this is essentially the same screen that it showed in the earlier step. Theme is basically uh, the look and feel of the icons in the window. If you were to change this to classic, um, it will uh, notice the change the background and the, the windows would be uh, sort of like gray and black. We can uh, test it uh, quickly here. Notice that it changed the taskbar and uh, everything looks grayish like the uh, Always, I will uh, go ahead and switch back to the XP. Uh, the other option under display is uh, you can change the, your screensaver, the appearance. Um, here also you can switch to the uh, classic if you wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and leave everything on XP. Settings is another important tab. This is where you can uh, configure multiple monitors if that's what you're using. Also, you can use uh, a different resolution. I'm going to just go ahead and leave 1024 by 68 because that is what I'm recording on. You can uh, change your color quality. So we'll just go ahead and leave that as OK. Uh, taskbar and start menu options. This is where you can customize some of the things. Uh, one thing I like here is the hide inactive icons. Um, over time, your desktop can get really crowded, and if you need to clean things up, this is a nice option to have checked. Um, for the start menu, you can again switch to uh, classic start menu or the XP. So I will just go ahead and cancel. The next icon is the folder options. This is again uh, one of the um, 
ways you can uh, change XP to show your folders you will notice that um, if I were to switch to Windows Classic this will go ahead and remove that little taskbar area um, I will uh, go back to that Start menu option. I kind of switched the uh, layout and I cannot uh, remember how to. Uh, let's just go to the display one real quick here. Oh, here it is. For a minute, I had to think about how to uh, get back here. Okay, so that's the start menu, but we are looking for folder options. <coughs> it just threw me off a little bit because uh, I just haven't worked with the old one in a little while. But in folder options, you can also change some of the ways uh, it shows your folder. So, for example, up here, this is the address bar and let's say you didn't want to see the full path you could apply that now if you were let's just kinda switch gears here if you were in here somewhere you won't see the full path whereas if you changed point of view now it looks like it's showing the full path so those are some of the options that you can change in folders another thing you can change is the file types so for example uh, if you have uh, JPEGs let's say which are which are a format for images and currently looks like it's using the Windows picture and facts something you could change it to select Inter Internet Explorer so in other words if you have that file on your machine next time it will actually use Internet Explorer to open that so those were some of the options under folder um, we will move on to the network and internet connections this is